The Family TV Mass is brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation. We are gathered here to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the second Sunday of Lent, with the theme, Source of Our Courage. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, together with Andox Lichon Corporation, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Andox Immaculate Conception Chapel, number 24 Bulacan Street, Barangay Bungad, West Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Marvin Pajariliaga, Parish Priest, Santo Cristo de Bungad Parish. Our choir for today's Mass is the Andox Voice Choir. And as one community gathered in Christ, let us all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. <laughs> our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your Lord. spirit. On a high mountain before the eyes of the chosen disciples, Jesus is transfigured. This glimpse of the Lord's divinity is meant to encourage the disciples in their following of the Lord. It is also intended to spur us as a on as we undergo the Lenten moments of our lives, when we experience doubts, pains, and life's adversities. With Peter and the other disciples, we can say that we too have heard the Father's voice on the holy mountain. We do well to be attentive to it. So my dear friends, to become worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have commanded us to listen to our beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, 
we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the word of God. God calls Abraham away from the security of his land and home to form from him the chosen people. The call of Abraham symbolizes our pilgrimage of faith. Our first reading will be read by Mr. Marken Kobayashi. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abraham, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. And all the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abraham went as the Lord directed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm will be read by Ms. Roxanne Parinas. Responsorial psalm. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Jesus gave his life for us, not because we merited it, but because it is the Father's gracious design. Paul invites us to be thankful by bearing our share of the hardship for the sake of the gospel. Our, our second reading will be read by Mr. Joven Atienza. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life, not according to our works, but according to his own design. And the grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus before time began, but now made manifest through the appearance of our, save, of our Savior Christ Jesus, who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel the word of the lord thanks be to god please rise to honor the holy gospel from the shining cloud the father's voice is heard this is my The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. 
Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Ngayon tayo ay nasa ikalawang linggo sa panahon ng Kwaresma. At yung narinig natin sa mabuting balita ngayon ay ang pagbabagong anyo ni Kristo. Pero mapapansin ninyo sa mabuting balita, bago magbagong anyo si Kristo, siya ay naggaling sa pananalangin. Umakyat si Kristo sa bundok para makipag-usap sa kanyang ama, siya ay nagdasal, at pagkaraan ng kanyang pagdarasal, biglang may nagbagong anyo sa ating Panginoong si Jesus. At bismo rin ang ama ang nagsalita sa pamagitan ng ating ama at sa kanyang sinabi, ito ang pinakamamahal kong anak na lubos kong kinalulugdan, pakinggan ninyo siya. No? Napakaganda lamang noong tagpo na si Kristo ay umakyat sa bundok para manalangin, nakipag-usap sa kanyang ama at ang kanyang ama ang nakipag-usap sa kanyang mga alagad. No? At sinabing, ito ang pinakamamahal kong anak na lubos kong kinalulugdan, pakinggan nyo siya. Kaya nasaksihan nila Pedro, nila Santiago, ang katotohanan na ang kasakasama nilang si Kristo ay anak ng Diyos. Sa unang bahagi, marahil, nung unang tinawag sila Pedro, hindi nila naintindihan na si Kristo ay anak ng Diyos. Pero dumating sa punto na kanilang buhay na nakita at naranasan nila na mismong ang ama ang nagsabi na si Kristo ay kanyang anak. Kaya si Kristo ay tunay na anak ng Diyos. Pero sa banang huli ng gospel, sabi ni Kristo, huwag niyo muna ito ikukwento. Huwag niyo muna ibabalita hanggat hindi nangyayari ang kabuuan sa aking buhay. Ito yung pagpapasakit, kamatayan, hanggang sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. Hindi pa lubos yung ganap sa buhay ni Kristo. Kaya hindi pa maaari ipaalam sa lahat ng tao kung sino talaga siya. Pero kahit pa paano, naranasan na ni Pedro, kasama sila Santiago, sila Juan, na ang tunay na katauhan ni Kristo ay anak ng Diyos. At marami tinuturo sa atin ang mabuting balita ngayon. Maraming gustong sabihin ng Panginoon sa atin sa pamagitan ng pagdiriwang natin ng panahon ng kwaresma. Una, yung kahalagahan ng pananalangin. No? Sabi doon sa mabuting balita, umakyat si Kristo sa bundok para manalangin. Madalas ganyan yung ating ginagawa. Lumalayo tayo sa napakaingay na paligid at pumupunta tayo sa isang tahimik na lugar para makipag-usap sa Panginoon. Nang sa ganon walang distractions. Walang gumugulo sa atin. Kapag tayo nakipag-usap sa Diyos, dapat nakafocus ang ating isip. Tanging ang Diyos lamang ang ating tinitingnan at kinakausap. Kinakailangan walang distraction sa ating buhay. At yun yung unang gustong ituro ng Panginoon sa atin. Kapag tayo nagdarasal, ibigay natin ang ating oras at panahon at ang ating atensyon tanging sa Panginoon. Alam niyo po, nung kami ay seminarista, kapag kami ay nagre-retreat, maging ngayong pari na kami, no? Pag kami ay nagre-retreat, 
kinakailangan kami ay umaakit sa mataas na lugar. Pupunta ng Baguio, pupunta ka ng Tagaytay, no? Kasi yun yung mga bundok na lugar, no? Para manahimik, para lumayo muna sa nakagawiang araw-araw na buhay at ang gagawin mo lamang doon ay mananalangin, magdarasal, aakit ka sa bundok na parang katulad ng ginawa ng mga alagad kasama si Jesus. Aakit sa bundok para manalangin. At pag nandoon sa taas ng bundok, ang kakausapin mo ay Panginoon. At ano ang sabi? Nung sila ay nagdarasal, no? Pagkatapos magdasal, si Jesus ay nagbagong anyo. Kinausap niya ang kanyang ama at siya ay nagbagong anyo. At parahin lang din isang hamon sa ating lahat. Kapag tayo nakikipag-usap sa ama, kapag tayo nakikipag-usap sa Diyos, ang hamon sa atin ay pagbabago. Hindi na katulad ni Kristo na nagbago yung anyo, nagba, nagliwanag yung muka, nagliwanag yung damit. Imposible namang ganun din yung mangyayari sa atin. Hindi. Ang inaasa sa atin ng Diyos, magbabago din tayo ng pananaw sa buhay. Yung mga pagkakamali na nagawa natin, babaguhin na natin yun. Pagkaraan nating magdasal. Kasi lagi naman ang panawagan sa atin ng Diyos, kung tayo pinakikinggan ng Diyos sa ating pagdarasal, ang panawagan ng Panginoon, pagbabagong buhay. Wala namang gustong ipagawa sa atin ng Diyos na mahirap para sa atin. Ang gusto lamang ng Panginoon, sa tuwing kinakausap natin siya, nagbabagong buhay tayo. Hindi man magbago yung anyo natin pisikal, pero pwedeng magbago yung laman ng ating puso't isipan at patungo yan sa kabutihan. Kaya mga kapatid, yan din yung maaaring malaman, matutunan natin sa mabuting balita. Hindi lamang panalangin, bagkus pagkaraan nating magdasal, ang hamon ng Diyos ay pagbabagong buhay. At paano natin gagawin na magbagong buhay? Paano natin gagawin na baguhin yung ating pagkakamali sa tuwing tayo ay nagkakamali at nagkakasala at tinatawag tayo ng Diyos sa magbago? Sabi ng ating ama doon sa mabuting balita, no? Ito ang pinakamamahal kong anak na lubos kong kinalulugdan, pakinggan ninyo siya. At yun po yung isa sa pinakamahalaga. Para tayo tunay na magbago, kinakailangan natin nakikinig sa Diyos. Kapag hindi tayo ganap at lubos ang ating pakikinig sa Panginoon, naku, kahit anong pagbabago ipilit sa iyo, hindi mo gagawin yan. Tingnan nyo yung, isipin nyo yung mga nanay nyo at natatay nyo. Sige. Ganong katagal nang bumubunga nga yung nanay at tatay nyo sa inyo? ba? Diba? Pag kayo nagkakamali. ba? Diba? Ang dalas. Pag may ginawa kayong mali, andyan na agad yung nanay at tatay nyo, tatalak na yan. No? Ang ingay, kung pwede nga lang lumabas na lang ng bahay para hindi ko, ma- hindi ko marinig yung ingay ng nanay at tatay ko, okay na sana yung ganon. Pero hindi. Anong gagawin ng nanay at tatay ninyo pag kayo nagkakamali? ba? Diba? Lagi kayong sesermonan. Lagi kayong pagsasabihan. Pero kung pinakikinggan lang natin yung sinasabi ng ating nanay at tatay, inaakay niyan tayo para magbago. Para ituwid yung ating pagkakamali. Hindi tayo sinesermonan ng ating magulang para lamang tayo saktan. Para lamang tayo mabingi o maingayan. Pinapaliwanag sa atin ng ating magulang kung ano yung tama at mabuti sa pagkakamali na ating nagawa. Pero anong gagawin dapat natin? Kinakailangan nating pakinggan. Kinakailangan lang nating makinig sa sinasabi ng ating magulang para itama yung ating pagkakamali. Kasi nung mga bata tayo, talagang tuloy-tuloy naman talaga tayong gumawa ng mali kasi hindi natin alam kung ito ba ay nakakatama sa atin o mabuti sa atin. Pero andyan ang magulang para itama yung pagkakamali natin. Tayo nakikinig lang muna pag tayo nagkakamali. Pero unti-unti itinatama tayo ng ating magulang. Kaya ano ang sinasabi ni sa atin? Napakahalaga na tayo ay nakikinig. Lalo na doon sa nakatatanda sa atin kung ito ang makabubuti para tayo ay magbago. Ngayon po alam nyo, mayroong mga magagandang mga mga napapanood sa TV, no? Hindi naman lahat. May ilan lang. 
may mga maganda na papunod sa TV na maaaring yan din yung mensahe na dapat nating pinakikinggan. Eh ngayon, yung mga kabataan ngayon, ang mahilig ay makinig ng music. No? Pag mga broken hearted, makikinig ng music. Nagsesenti-senti sa kwarto nila o sa loob ng bahay. Tapos iiyak-iyak. No? Yan yung mga moment ngayon, di ba? O kaya naman ay tatawag sa kaibigan kasi parang broken hearted, makikinig sa mga sinasabi ng kaibigan, iiyak-iyak. Tapos biglang mag-move on. No? Yan, yung mga, yan yung mga moment ngayon ng mga kabataan, no? pag mga broken hearted. Ibig sabihin lang, bago ma-realize yung mga ganung gawain, kinakailangan mayroong kang mapakinggan, mayroong magtuturo sa'yo ano ang dapat mong gawin. Nakikinig tayo kasi may mga taong nasa paligid natin na pwedeng ituwid yung pagkakamali natin at matulungan tayo sa ating kalungkutan, sa ating damdamin, sa ating pagkakamali. Kaya mga kapatid, itong pinapakita sa atin ng Panginoon ngayong ikalawang linggo ng Kwaresma, ang pagbabagong anyo ni Kristo ay paanyaya rin sa atin ng pagbabagong buhay. Magbabago ang buhay natin Ngunit dapat ang direksyon ng pagbabagong buhay natin bilang tao ay patungo sa Panginoon. Ang paanyaya lagi sa atin ng Diyos, makinig sa Kanya. Sa panalangin, maaari tayong nakikinig sa Diyos. Sa panalangin, maaaring baguhin ng Diyos ang ating buhay. Kung tayo ay laging lumalapit at nagdarasal at nakikinig sa utos ng Diyos. Amen. Please all stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us earnestly pray to the Father that during this Lenten season, we may make a pilgrimage of faith leading to an authentic conversion. May we die to our sinful selves and thus share in the glory of Christ. Let our response be, Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. Our prayers of the faithful will be read by Miss Mary Jane Karamat. May the church the people of God, return to the house of the Father through a life conversion, charity, and dialogue with the Word. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May those who are afflicted and tempted to give up be strengthened by the transfiguration of Jesus in their struggle to grow in faith, hope, and love. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May the Lord strengthen our dropping hands and weak knees to carry our daily cross and may the pains we endure bring peace and fruits of holiness, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your, your people. people. May the Lord watch over refugees and exiles, those separated from their loved ones, those who are lost or have left home, and bring them back safely to the place where they belong, we pray. Lord, listen to your people. May those who have gone before us in faith enjoy the vision of Lord's glory forever in heaven, we pray. 
Lord, Lord listen, listen to your, your people. people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Lord, give us the strength to follow Jesus even on the way of the cross. For beyond suffering awaits your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing for the offertory. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death, on the way of the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory 
to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Please all stand. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Aking sasabihin na ikaw ay dakila. Please all stand. Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us, while still on earth, to be partakers even now of the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The family is the sanctuary of life, the place which life, the gift of God, can be properly welcomed and protected against the many attacks to which it is exposed. Please bow our heads as we join the prayer for the families to be led by Mr. and Mrs. Joselito Yadao and family. God our Father, our Father loving, loving and merciful, bring together, together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support, infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them and their occasional failures. Instill forgiveness and peace with the mutual love and affection of parents. Be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. May the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. On behalf of Reverend Father Bel San Luis, SVD, of Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated, we would like to, to thank the following for making our family TV Mass possible. And Docs Lichon Corporation through its Executive Vice President, Mr. Maverick Javier, our Mass Presider, Reverend Father Marvin Parilliaga, our Choir, the Andox Voice Choir, Organist, Raniel Castillo, Percussionist Darrell Castillo, TV Mass Coordinators, Mr. Gaudencio Pamaos, and Ms. Jenny Gerit. To all the other officials of Andox Lichon Corporation, thank you. To the chapel staff, employees, and personnel, lectors, family prayer, offerers, altar server, collectors, 
televiewers here and abroad, sponsors and advertisers, thank you and God bless us all. Let us all give them a big round of applause. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever. And keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he showed in his own body to amazement to the amazement of his apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Family TV Mass was brought to you by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Dr. Montaña G. Ramos General Hospital.